Hello once again ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to an arcade plays Plague Inc. Evolved. Today I'm going to be playing another custom scenario, Human Hives. But, um, as I loaded it up I noticed that there's a couple more five star scenarios that have popped up and they're looking pretty interesting. Uh, I mostly noticed this because the Shrekening was further down the list. So yes, I might have to check out a couple of those. So Human Hives is on the five star list and has been requested, so I will be playing Human Hives. So let's get in there. All right, already fully loaded. So let's let's have a look. See, ATP boost. Uh... Yeah, I might keep ATP boost. Darwinus, yes. Aquasite. I'm gonna go extrema file and transstasis sounds okay. All right, so let's go into it. Normal. I'm going to be calling this. Hmm. Poopy. Doodle. Alright. So I have been receiving a couple of complaints about um, where my face cam is situated. So I have moved it. I don't know where I moved it because I'm currently filming. So <laughs> hopefully I've moved it around a bit and it's uh, easier for everyone to see. I know. I understand completely why people are getting upset. Um, it's just with the Plague Inc. screen, there isn't much room to do anything. Alright, so let's have a look at this lovely scenario. So it has the basic transmissions and then it's got one in the middle. Oh, I just upgraded it. Skin. Virus can spread through dead flakes of skin that have been left behind. That's pretty gross. Let's have a look at symptoms. Only one symptom. Skin calcification. Skin becomes flaky and brittle, making movement painfully uh, painful due to skin falling off. That's disgusting. Um, pathogen evolves to withstand cold temperatures. Pathogen evolves to withstand hot temperatures. Pathogen becomes resistant to class 1 and 2 antivirals. Alright, bacterial resilience. Create bacterial shell to protect itself against all climates. Alright, so it's pretty much the same as virus, just a couple of different um, transmissions and symptoms. I think the whole symptom train by the looks of it is completely different. So, I have flaky skin at the moment. So let's hopefully get some more transmissions going. I'm going to move towards extreme bioaerosol, as I always do. And, uh, yeah. Now, because this is a virus and I have the Darwinist gene, we're going to mutate quite quickly. Skin hardening. Skin turns white and hardens, making it difficult to move. Reducing infectivity, but also slowing cure slightly. Loss. Lost skin grows back extremely quickly in a matter of seconds, also increasing mutation chance. That's pretty cool. Hmm. So it seems on one side we're going to be losing a hell of a lot of skin, and on the other side we'll be becoming Wolverine. So, I'm going to grab some water as well, and then I might move into resistances, I'm not sure. We will see where this path takes us. Now with concerns with my face cam, uh, my face cam, my face cam, uh, my face cam, I, I had it around this area just above the disease because it was pretty much out of sight. I was going to have it here but it looked really stupid. Um, but some of you have said to put it up here. So I don't know if I have put it up there. I, I'm going to be fiddling so I, I better not talk about it. Alright, so I've got ex extreme re uh, regeneration. Upgrade medicine. And I'm going to upgrade insect too and move towards the poorer regions. I might need blood as well. That could assist. Okay. So Darwinus is helping, um, but I'm pretty sure it's going to get us spotted soon. Good old Darwinus. But we are spreading quite rapidly, which is good. Alright. We're spreading very rapidly. Alright, so let's use some of these DNA points. Dead skin left behind, it de deteriorates slower. Let's grab that. And what's this one? A virus replicates a lot faster in dead skin. Hell yeah, and air too. So now we have some serious dead skin issues. Skin hardening has mutated, so let's look at what we've got now. Um, blisters. Skin regeneration gets slightly out of control, creating small blisters on, on skin, slight chance of bursting, which can spread disease. Also increasing mutation tense, uh, chance. Sounds disgusting. Skin skeletification. Layers of dead skin turn into sheets of bone, reducing infectivity but slowing kill slightly. That's dis This is getting gross. So over time this is getting worse. I've only killed one person, so um, my death rate is very, very low, which is good. So 
let's upgrade transmission to water 2, and extreme by RSL is 16 DNA points. Key deck. So we are moving very quickly. We have been noticed, but uh, I think we're doing okay. I think that's the dead skin playing along. Alright, so let's grab Extreme Bio Aerosol, I'm gonna grab Bird as well, and then let's grab some of that and that. Blisters have mutated, so these mutations are really helping. Jeez, we are spreading very quickly, this wave is massive. Alright, so let's grab Cold 2 and all of the special abilities of Bacterial Resilience, even though it's a virus. Shh, don't tell anyone, they'll get jealous. I'm just hoping we can spread quickly throughout Russia. Tumors have mutated. That sounds goddamn brutal. First death in China. Alright, so let's have a look at the symptom tree. I might actually upgrade medicine too, because that seems very necessary. So, tumors. Skin regeneration gets extremely out of control, creating tumors on skin. Can be fatal, also increasing mutation chance. Alright, so we're spreading very quickly. Some countries are starting to shut down their ports. I think I'm almost everywhere. I'm in Greenland now. So I think I better start moving throughout the second tree. Gum hardening. Hardening of the gums can cause teeth to fall out. Gross. Minor scalification. Layers of dead skin harden and make it a lot harder to move. Reducing infectivity but also slowing the cure slightly. Major scalification. Skin now slightly turns into bone, can obscure airways and lead to death, reducing infectivity but also slowing the cure slightly. S extreme scalification. Skin now completely turns into bone. Inability to move causes hosts to die of starvation, reducing infectivity and significantly slowing the cure. Complete scalification. Skin and muscle convert completely into bone. Host remains alive but cannot move, reducing infectivity but also slowing cure. So, I just bought a couple of those... Um, Symptoms which completely slow the cure. I've just got complete scalification. What's this one? Human hives. Severe pains forces the host to slowly move into a fetal position over the course of a few days, reducing infectivity and slowing cure. This is getting really, really brutal. So I just want to double check and see I'm everywhere. Yes, I am. Every country is infected. This needs to slowly infect. Ooh, what's this? The kind way. Virus eats airway internal organs, resulting in quick, painless death. The cruel way. Host internal organs go under drastic changes. Hosts no longer require food or oxygen, forcing them to remain in one place their entire lives. That's really messed up. But... I'm a bad person because I'm going to go pick the cruel way. I'm not a very good person at all. Yep. Yep, there it goes. Cruel way. I don't know if that locks that out. But I, um... Yeah. Slight chance of infection while kissing. Root burrowing. Small tubes burrow from esophagus to the roots in teeth causing painful swelling in gums. Ew. Burrowing continues from roots to teeth. Teeth are then hollowed out and filled with gas. Teeth can explode and start fires if hit hard enough. What? Alright, so I've selected the cruel way. People are freezing. No one's dying anymore. So I don't know if that's going to give me an auto-completion. But that is kind of brutal. If you really think about it, you're just stuck in that position for the rest of your life. There are no healthy people left in the world. A slow drive into insanity. All humans on Earth are stuck inside a bone cocoon for the rest of their lives. Every day will feel like a year for them. Good job. I feel kind of bad. You won by encasing humanity in bone. Kind of reminds me of um, Kimimaru of um, Naruto. Anyway, three biohazard symbols. Yay! I feel really bad though. <laughs> so, there's always that. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. This was a very quick video. Um, I might do another video on the kind way, but I don't know. Eh. <laughs> so I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. That is a really, really brutal scenario. Whoever made this is very 
Watch out for them. I don't know. I'll probably make something pretty much the same. Um, in concerns with my custom scenario, I have started it. I've named it, done all that part. Um, I'm currently into the transmission symptoms and abilities side of things. So, yes. I'm hopefully going to try and get it out soon. But I don't know. I need to find time to do it. So I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, favourite, share, all that fun stuff. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you have a fantastic day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye now.